What is up YouTube? In today's video, I will show you how to properly use the generative AI vector tool in Adobe Illustrator. Starting with a blank canvas, go to the Windows menu and let's bring up the contextual taskbar. Follow that up by activating the properties panel. Create a circle with a black stroke in the middle of the canvas. This is where the illustration will take place. Now let's click on the Gen Shape Fill Beta button on the taskbar. Under Prompt, I will type in Hot Air Balloon in the Sky with a Sunset. You'll see that the app also recommends some prompts as well. The first button allows you to adjust the level of detail. The second button allows you to access what kind of effect you'd like the illustration to have. For this example, let's select the geometric effect. Let's click on Generate and let's see what the AI comes up with. Alright, so AI created three different versions for us. The first version looks pretty good, although you can see that the illustration is lacking some detail and finesse. So what we will do is use this generated image to inspire us into creating our very own instead of using it as is. Before we start illustrating, let's prepare the color palette. AI generated a sunset color palette for us. So let's extract these and add them to the swatches panel. Move the illustration to the side and create a circle. Activate the eyedropper tool by pressing the letter I and clicking on the illustration to extract the gradient. Extract the brown shades for the basket. Let's bring down the opacity of the illustration and head over to the layers panel. Here, rename the layer to reference and lock the layer. Create two new layers and name them outline and color. Working on the top layer, I will recreate the illustration in my own form, which is an outlined style. You will require to use the pen tool, shapes, the shape builder tool, and the pathfinder panel to do this. I will speed this part up for you as it's pretty straightforward. If you struggle understanding the pen tool and the shape builder tool, then check out the videos in my video descriptions for beginner tutorials. All right, I'm done the outline, so let's prepare the colors. Select the color palette we created on the right and click on the folder icon in the swatches panel to add the colors in. Do the same for the brown colors. To make things cleaner, I will delete the other colors in the swatches panel, but you don't have to do this step. Now let's add the base color to the illustration. Select all and copy the line art onto the color layer. Hold Option or Alt on your keyboard and drag the green square down to the color layer. Lock and hide the original outline layer for the moment. Follow that up by deleting all the shapes or lines that you don't need to be coloring for the color layer. Now select all and activate the live paint bucket tool by pressing the letter K on your keyboard. Here, just click anywhere on the line art and start filling in the illustration with colors from the swatches panel. Once you're done, Go to the object menu, select expand and accept. You will then right click and ungroup to detach the line art from the color and delete the line art. You can then ungroup the color shapes afterwards. Go to the layers panel and then you can reveal the original outline layer. Finally, let's add some gradients and some shadows with highlights to the illustration. I make my shadows by creating a shape and then cutting it out using the Shape Builder tool. I then apply a darker shade to represent the shadow and a lighter shade to represent the highlight. If you struggle with this, then check out my beginner's tutorial on how to color in Adobe Illustrator using my methods. And there you have it everyone, how to properly use the AI generative tool to help you create your very own illustrations instead of using what they already create for you in Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions about this tutorial, then let me know in the comments below and I'll gladly help you out. Cheers everyone and Happy New Year!